So, for the trails report, uh, this go around, we are on Cumberland Pass uh, between Tinkup and Pitkin. Our good friend Corey over there at the Silver Plume in Pitkin had told us that him and some of his friends were shoveling out Cumberland. And uh, yesterday they made it to the top on the Pitkin side. Uh, he talked to us, they said they were going to do the other side, so we decided to come over. See if we can give them a hand and see if we can get Jeeps through. This is probably the narrowest spot right here. Um, we didn't shovel all this out. The, the guys in some of the side-by-sides from Pitkin had come over. Um, we pushed this section back just a little bit, shovel in there, make sure that a, a full-size vehicle could get through, um, which you just saw two of them drive through there. There's not a ton of room and there's really no room to pass. So if you're up here, uh, running this before it's fully melted out. Be sure to watch for vehicles either coming up or going down before you approach this section. So we did make it up here to the top of Cumberland. Uh, quite a bit of traffic, obviously, because this is the first pass in the area. Um, you know, four-wheel drive road that's open. Uh, you saw we shovel a little bit on the tin cup side to get full-size vehicles up. Uh, over there on the Pitkin side... It doesn't quite follow the entire main road. There's one lower place where it, it goes on what they call the lower road. Um, pretty tight, pretty brushy. You could get a full-size vehicle through there, um, but you probably get some color to pinstriping with it. On the tin cup side now, uh, it's all good. Plenty wide for, for a full-size vehicle um, to be able to get down through that snow. So yeah, there you go. Pretty much for any type of motorized vehicle um, size. Uh, Cumberland Pass is now open for the season. So we decided to drive over to Mirror Lake, uh, check conditions, uh, see see what the water levels are. Pretty obvious there behind me. Um, this is where the road <laughs> drops right into the lake. So um, it is not open across here. It's probably not going to be uh, for some time because there is a lot of snow up in the basin that still needs to melt, uh, which will make its way down through here. Um, we did fly the drone across the lake there to, to look at the levels and it is really deep all the way across, especially on that far side corner out there. Um, road looks fairly clear on Tin Cup above that, um, at least to some of the dark timber and then certainly the basin's still snowy up, up around Timberline. So, um, yeah, we really can't assess conditions on this side cause we can't get up there. Uh, we'll take a look on, on our side. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Cumberland's open for the season there. Uh, we're now over on the St. Elmo side. Um, so we're going to check several things out. Uh, we've got some other good news about openings. Uh, so let's go look at Baldwin Lake. So we drove up to Baldwin Lake, check conditions. Uh, you can see from the drone video that the uh, lake's still frozen over over there um, I've seen some pictures and stuff about the open water and things the, usually what people are posting about is the lower stuff those are just runoff pools that you can see from the trail you have to hike over to Baldwin Lake you can't see it there from the parking lot 
Um, so it's still, there's a tiny bit of open water at the, the edge. But then I flew the drone to see how far the road was open over here. And this is what I see. And, and these are the problems that we struggle with early season. This is like a, a sweeping switchback here that somebody didn't, wasn't able to go through the snow, didn't want to cut it out. So then they cut the switch back, drove right up through the vegetation, um, tore up the dirt, tore up the willows so that they could get on the road to be stopped by snow just a few hundred yards farther. So if you're out, this is what we always talk about. Stay on the trail. If you can't go through the snow or over the snow, then you need to turn around. It is absolutely not acceptable to be driving around snow drifts, to be tearing stuff up, to be causing resource damage. That is what makes it almost impossible for us to keep trails open when this type of behavior is present. So I'm up above it and you can see straight on with the camera right now is where the road is. And it makes a sweeping switch back. My Jeep's down there on the road. And here's what somebody's done where they've driven up off the trail, cutting this switch back, digging stuff up off the road instead of just going around, cutting a high side track in that snow to be able to keep going. So there you go, pretty close up there. Uh, yeah, just a big reminder, always stay the trail uh, no matter what. We're gonna go up and check, uh, see if we can get to Hancock Lake, uh, see if we can get to Pomeroy Lake after that and then uh, yeah we're gonna go up here and check out uh, the snow level on tin cup see how the melt's looking and uh, when we can expect that one to uh, be close to passable getting you with the sandal shoveling though keep going look at that that's pretty nice good day to have the trail crew out shoveling so we opened the last few drifts here um, Hancock Lake is open all the way to the parking lot and uh, most of the lake is is all the way open water too. So we are up on Pomeroy Lake today. Uh, pretty big mud hole down here uh, that's formed with a lot of the, the runoff. So we're gonna throw some rocks in it real quick. Pretty good mud hole, um, deep, deep ledge getting out. And then unfortunately what happens, you can see clear over here in the willows and on the side, people have been trying to go around it. So we'll see if we can get it filled in enough. Uh, you can stay on the road uh, and be able to get up that, that uh, incline right there uh, while it dries out. Here we are at the parking area on Pomeroy Lake. Um, lower lake over there uh, is free of ice, all open water. Upper lake is still covered in heavy ice and a, and a lot of snow. Um, but Pomeroy Lake now is also open.
made it up to the top of Tin Cup now. Um, you can see behind me that's that's the last part going up to the, the summit there. Um, you can get past both switchbacks uh, driving up here and then a typical spot, the shelf road that goes across the summit. I walked past half the snow and then we've got still another big drift behind us. So it's probably going to be a couple weeks before we can look at shoveling this section out. Um, and we're not even sure if Mirror Lake would be passable at that time. So even if we get the, the pass open, it may not, water levels may not be low enough down there. So yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll look around here a bit. You can check the video out. And um, yeah, you can make it to above tree line on Tin Cup right now. And then it's gonna be a couple more weeks before the pass. We can shovel it out and, and see if we can get vehicles through here. But some good news on this trail report. I mean, we've got Cumberland open, Hancock Lake open, um, Pomeroy's open now. Um, Baldwin's almost all the way open above the lake too. Uh, Hancock Pass looks just like this too. So neither one of the passes for the, the rest of the loop are open. Um, but yeah, keep watching for updates. As soon as we have something, uh, we'll be posting updates or putting it in a trail video.